Miliki wa shamba hili alichimba kisima cha takriban futi miambili hamsini kwa lengo la kupata maji ya kunyinyizia maji mmea shambani mwake. Mara ghafla shimo la kisima hilo likaanza kutoa mvuke usio kwa wa kawaida. Waliondoa mashine zao ili kujua kulikoni. Mmoja wa wafanyikazi akajaribu kuwasha moto mvuke huo. Moto kaibuka. Asitomeke huja. Kilichobaki ni kizungumkuti wakitaka kujua kioja cha moto huo. Wiki mbili baadaye gesi hiyo ingali inatoka ardhini kwa kishindo. Eneo la tukio sasa linalindwa huku kukiwa na onyo la kutovuta sigara, kurusha mawe, kuwasha kiberiti au hata kuwa na kitu chochote kinachoweza kusababisha moto. Miti iliyokuwa karibu ikiwa kumbukumbu kumbu ya madhara ya moto uliochipuka. Tunarifiwa kiasi cha maji yanayotoka kisimani ni ndogo mno. Kiasi kikubwa hapa ni aina ya gesi ambao wataalamu kufikia sasa hawajaweza kutathmini chimbuko lake wala ni ya aina gani. Kulingana na wanajiolojia wanaoendesha shughuli ya kuchimba na kuzalisha umeme katika eneo la Menengai, hili si jambo geni. Japo huwa hatari kuchimba visima ovyo ovyo eneo hili. So maybe what they drill the locals will drill you'll find some small small maybe gases issuing on the ground but it's not a very big deal eneo hili limezingirwa na kuta za volkano ya menengai bonde hili la menengai la takriban kilomita tisa mraba lipo kwenye bonde la ufa ndani ya bonde hilo tunarifiwa hadi hivi sasa kuna toka mvuke na gesi aina mbalimbali Kijiji cha Solai kipo takriban kilomita kumi hivi kutoka bonde hili la Menengai. Wataalamu wanasema vijiji vyote vinavyozingira Menengai vina uwezekano wa kutoka gesi, maji moto au mvuke. Bernard Masharia mfanyikazi katika shamba lililoko takriban kilomita mbili hivi kutoka bonde la Menengai anatuonyesha kisima ambacho kilichimbwa miaka mitatu iliyopita shambani. <coughs> inakunyonga <laughs> shimo la kisima hicho limeachwa wazi wakati ilichimbwa na mashine ikatoa steam sasa wakati ilitoa steam ikawachwa kwa sababu ilionekana itatoa moshi itatoa itatoa moto vipimo vya joto la mvuke huo ni takriban nyuzi 130 chochote kinachowekelewa juu yake hungua kwa joto katika muda wa dakika mbili pekee kuna watu walikuja wakasema area hii kuna ku, ku, kuna jia zingi za moto na inaonekana itaweza kuwa kuna jia ya moto hapa. Kilomita 25 hivi kutoka Menengai ni mtaa wa Old Rongai na Kuru. Mkazi huyo amechimba kisima cha futi 250 hivi. Lakini punde sipunde wakati walianza kuleta maji wakaweka pipe ndio ikuje maji ikawa ni moto. Paka hata hiyo mfereji yenyeliwe kwa mwanzo haikufanya kazi. Sasa inabidi watumie tenki hizi kuhifadhi maji usiku kucha ya poe kabla ya kuelekezwa kwa nyumba kwa matumizi ya kawaida. Katika mtaa huo wa Old Rongai kutokana na ukosefu wa maji, wakazi walichanga pesa kuanza mradi wa maji. When we first did the, the project, the water that came out was very very hot and uh, it posed a challenge the kind of piping that we were using. They, they got burnt the first time. Uh, the first pump, it, it got burnt. Uh, the impellers were, been, were being burnt by the, the heat because the heat was more than 60 degrees Celsius. Ilibidi wakazi hao kuwatafuta wataalamu kuwaelezea kulikoni kabla ya kuendeleza mradi huo. We got another pump with the help of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru. But again, after a short while, it was off. And it's now 26 years we have not been able to do anything with this water but as you can hear if you listen you'll hear a lot of pressure from underneath Hadi hii leo kisima hicho kinatoa sauti na mvuke kuonyesha kwamba kule chini kuna maji moto Wataalamu wa jiolojia kwa upande wao wanawaonya wenyeji dhidi ya kuendelea kuchimba visima ovyo ovyo eneo hilo bila kuwahusisha You need to do a geohydrogeological survey has to be carried out by a, a registered geologist he'll come and do the survey for you probably tell you where the aquifers are and even when you're drilling the geologist is supposed to supervise 
the well when it's been drilled. So he knows what to do in case of such things. Hata hivyo maji hayo na mvuke kulingana nao ni salama kutumia. You can come up with a tourist uh, hotel and make this a tourist destination where we will do hot water spas, hot water games. That steam can be used to heat um, greenhouses, uh, chicken houses. Ni eneo linalopatikana katika bonde la Ufa ambapo wataalam sema kwamba ni kawaida kupata maji moto, mvuke au gesi ya aina fulani ikitoka kutoka kwa mianya ardhini au kutoka kwa visima vya maji. Lakini wataalam pia usema kwamba ni vyema kuwatumia wataalam kuweza kukupa ushauri kabla ya kuchimba visima au kujenga nyumba za orofa ndefu. Dennis Matara K24 kutoka Olorongai County Yanakuru.